morning guys. Yo. And happy Thursday. It is 8.43. Uh, John is taking me to work today because he's got the day off. It's uh, a little bit grim. It's a bit chilly and it's a bit rainy but I think we've just had a bit of a break in the rain. And yeah, going to work. John's going to go meet his friend for coffee or breakfast or something. Yeah. And um, that's it really. See you in a bit. Just uh, another little bit of a walk down to my favourite beach. Yeah, somebody's digging something up. <laughs> so you can hear someone digging over there. past 11, I'm on my way home. Um, got a bit of a mooch around the UK, there is absolutely nothing open this time of year. But, to be honest, that's not a problem. Because all I did was go for a bit of a walk around. So I had a bit of a wander around anyway. And yeah, just blew away a few cobwebs in my head. I weren't feeling well last week. And obviously, yeah, it done me a bit of good, got a bit fresher. Um, it's just cold out there, the wind's really cold. But um, yeah, it's really nice just to sort of have a bit of a wander when it was quiet throughout the weekend. So yeah, pretty chuffed. Chuffed's probably the wrong word. But anyway, I'm going home now. I want to see the puppy dogs. Give them a run around a bit and uh, see what's what when I get home. And I'm home, and I'm having guampke for my lunch, which is cabbage parcels with sort of a mince inside, with tomato sauce. So, just I'm on my way to pick Katie up. I've had a lazy afternoon. I've been doing some online shopping. Got a hell of a nice um, jumper from Jules. Should have showed you that, shouldn't I? It's really nice. It's like a purple wool jumper. Really nice. Anyway, bought a nice jumper for myself. I bought a few nice things for Katie for Valentine's Day, which I can't show you because she'll edit this video. So, yeah. Um, so that's pretty good. The fact that I can't show you. Did spend rather a long time obsessing online with what it was I was buying. I already bought some stuff. I was trying to buy a few more bits, um, so yeah, I've got that done. The boys are wiped out, they've had a good old run around, they're uh, proper tyres and sleeping. Just give them a dental stick before I come out, and um, I don't want to go and get Katie. I'm actually running quite late, but she never, she never out of work on time, so. so I always just got one more email to send or one more spreadsheet to update and save or whatever. So, bye bye. We've just been to Pets at Home. Um, we went purposely to get Darwin and Gilly a Valentine's present for Wednesday? Tuesday? Tuesday. Because um, normally they do like Valentine's range with like hearts and things and like, I know some people are going to think it's really sad, but we normally do that. But they didn't have any. They've just got all their Easter range out. They've not got any Valentine's things. So we bought them. Crocodile thing. Crocodile thing. One each, they got one each. But yeah, now we're going to John's favourite shop. 
um, home bargains. Hey guys, so we're home from work and home from the home bargains and pets at home. Uh, I thought I'd show you what we've got. We have left Darwin and Gilly's um, Valentine's present that I showed you in the car, in the car, because we don't want to ruin the surprise. Uh, but I will show you everything else that we bought. Okay, so from Pets at Home we got some fresh um, dental sticks in mint flavour, in medium size, because you know, Darwin and Gilly need to brush their teeth. And then, we've not tried these before, and I'm sure they're going to smell, but I'm also sure this one is going to love them, because he loves all things fishy. So they are 100% natural fresh fish. Sprats, they're like, ugh, do they just, yeah, I know, the moment we open these I'm going to whinge about this smell, but I also know that Darwin and Gilly, well, Darwin especially, is going to love these, so that's why we got those. And then from home bargains, I've got some sweeties, I'm hooked on you. Uh, some cold and flu relief capsules, because John has been... Poorly. He's actually a bit better than the last couple of days, but yeah, since the weekend he's been not well. And then to go alongside that we've got some paracetamol. I got myself a little love heart candle. These are in the pound shop for a pound. Uh, these were 70p or 79p home bargains and it's quite cute. I got some crunch breakfast bars. I've not tried this flavour. I like the cherry one. Um, this is cranberry and raspberry, but yeah, these were, I think, six for a pound. Uh, got some Clearasil um, face wash for John. I got one of these plastic mason jar thingies. This is going to go to work for me to have my squash in. Because, uh, yeah, it's pretty and I'm less likely to spill it. Then this is the thing we actually went in for because I wanted them. <laughs> It's just a pair of pillowcases, big spoon, little spoon. It's in the Valentine's section. Um, Sass and Bell sell these for a lot of money. I doubt the quality is the same, but I just think they're fun. So, yep, that was like £3, I think, for big spoon, little spoon pillows. And then we picked up these. Um, some of you might be aware, some of you might not, but John is going to uh, Poland for a couple of days this month. And... Um, Saw these and thought, bargain. Uh, so yeah, they're just base layers for the evenings when it's really cold. So these go under your clothes. So it's got a pair of trousers and a top. Obviously, it's not like skiing cold. Otherwise, we'd probably got him more expensive ones. But this is just because it's going to be a bit chilly in Poland. And it's tea time. And tonight um, is a little hickledy pickledy. So I've cooked some chicken, red onion, mushroom, spinach, peas in like chopped tomatoes with rosemary and garlic um, and then John has the same but I've done him some pasta with his and then we've got this Asda chosen by you extra special garlic flatbread thing and then I've cut up some low fat cathedral city type cheese so yeah that one's John's and that one's mine work is enough. We use something more powerful. Creativity. It starts new religions, defies the status quo, reinvents routine. Hey guys, so we watched telly for a bit and then somehow magically ended up on the internet looking at holidays. Not booked anything yet this year. It is only February, but um, I'd really like to go back to Egypt, but you can still only fly to certain parts of it, so it's super duper expensive, and we got a super good deal for Morocco last year, so I don't know, and then there's a part of me that doesn't want to go on holiday, because... I miss my babies when we go away. I miss little Darwin and Gilly. But at the same time, I really want a suntan. So it's like, 
it's a catch-22. I don't want to leave the boys, but I want to suntan. And it's the only time John truly doesn't work. Because if we're here, he'll be doing rugby stuff. Because he's a busy man and lots of people want his attention. But if you're on the other side of the world, you can't get hold of him. And we just have quality time chilling together. So I'm a little bit conflicted. You know, first world problems, I'm fully aware of that. But, yeah, that is what we are doing. And uh, it's almost bedtime. So I'm going to end the vlog there. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.